Good evening, guys. It's officially 7:30 at night. We just took a ro uh, excuse me, just took a uh, load to Ashland that we dropped off, and now we are headed back up to Indiana. And we I am dropped on, off for only two o'clock. I am on a mission. I am on a mission to get to Elkhart tonight uh, because there is a. It's gonna be very windy tomorrow between. 25 and 35 up in Elkhart and I am afraid that they're gonna lock the yards down and you won't be able to pull a unit out and I do not want to sit in Elkhart tomorrow I do not want to rent a red roof I, I have no interest in sleeping in their crappy beds I, I just want to get this unit and stay on track and uh, get it so that's what we're gonna do it's 7:30 right now I'm gonna do two hours and I'm hoping Sam will go to bed that way she could do two hours, and then I think I'd be doing the last two hours. Unless she wants to split, split those last two hours with me. That'd be nice. Thank you. Um, but at least if I could just get the unit out of the yard. Because once you get it out of the yard, it, like it's on you. You know what I mean? And obviously if it's crazy windy, I'm not going to drive it. But, you know, sometimes it'll just have like these like gusts or whatever. You just got to be careful. You just got to use common sense. Um, but the goal is to pull that unit out of the yard uh, tonight. So next clip, you'll see us at a rest area sleeping. No, we don't drive no, I right. gotta get it. I gotta get it. Gotta get it. All right, good luck with that. All right, I'm gonna get it. Are you driving? Yeah, you gotta drive. All right, I'll see you guys in a little bit. Guys, we did it! Woo! It is 12:48 in the morning, <laughs> and Sam actually—I can't believe Sam actually drove two hours for me. And uh, I took a snooze, and then I got back in the Mall driver's seat. Over there. Ugh. There's a travel ban in Ohio yeah. for um, like semis. Yeah, and for semis and triple. Oversized loads and stuff like that. Yeah. Ugh. So the plan is to grab some food right now because I'm hungry. I'm gonna grab Where some... are you grabbing food from? I'm going to get McDonald's. Ugh. Yeah, I'm not a fan, but I'm hungry. We didn't even have any dinner. Um, and I'm going to pick this trailer up, and she's going to pick her Class C up. The good thing is, is that for once, our both of our units are at the same yard, uh, which is going to make this a lot easier and a lot quicker. So, I wish it wasn't raining, though. Yeah, it's starting. It's it's been raining for a while now. Um, so and hopefully, it's forty six now. Yeah, so hopefully it kind of just stays as a drizzle. Um, but we're gonna we're gonna pick them up and then park it for the night somewhere, and. Uh, start real early in the morning and just you know because there's no way you're gonna be able to go full speed with the wind so oh excuse me so we'll just take our time and get there safely guess where i am guys do you know where i am i'm at the damn red roof because the wind is is insane today we, we woke up and i was gonna hit the road and uh try to beat the wind because I thought the wind was going to be like mainly bad from like 11 o'clock on which is what the weather app said and forget it the truck was blowing I mean like the whole truck was rocking and the just RV to get, just to get here was really bad yeah was, so wow, we're parking boy. at the red roof today we're going to take a break a little bit of a wind delay but uh I'm sure Sam doesn't mind she doesn't mind hanging out and uh we're going to get some Chinese food here in a little bit <laughs> We found a cooler. It's a car cool, like you plug it in. It has a, a cooler and a freezer. I'm trying to order it. Um, I'm trying to order it to an Amazon locker, but I don't know if it's going to work because it's big. It's a 58 quart cooler, so we'll see. Hopefully it works. <sighs> All right, so in a couple minutes, I'm going to go get Chinese and then uh, catch up with you guys. And, uh, God, we got a whole. This, you know, the one thing that is nice about the Red Roof is that they let you check in super early. Like, we checked in here at like 9 30 in the morning. Um, unfortunately, they only had rooms upstairs, which kind of sucks, but, uh, you know, it, it's all good. I mean, I'll take a room upstairs over no room at all, so. Cody, I know. Oh, man. Go ahead, flip out. All right. Finally got me some food, chicken and broccoli with some pork fried rice and a wonton soup. Sam, what'd you get? Oh yeah, me fun. Look at that. Oh, vegetable me fun? Yeah. Oh yeah, it looks good. <laughs> Is it good? Yes, goodbye. Alright. <laughs> Alright. I'm gonna chow this food down, watch some TV. 
and just ride out the storm. I think it's supposed to get uh, worse later on tonight or today. I think it's supposed to get even more windy. So. It's raining right now. Yeah, it's miserable outside. It's cold. The rain is, is coming down. The wind is whipping. So we're just going to hunker down and stay inside. Uh, and then tomorrow we'll get on the road. All right, guys. So I just wanted to update you. We just ordered our uh, cooler. I thought I'd, I'd tell you guys a little bit about it. It's really cool. It has a fridge and a freezer section on it and everything. It's called the Apple Cool uh, 58 quart cooler. We'll show and, a picture in the thing. Yeah, I'm gonna pop it up. But we got a really good deal on it. It was originally like a $320 cooler. Hold on. And uh, we got it for like 250 bucks shipped, like after tax and everything. They had a really good coupon. Yeah. And it'd be really good for you guys, even if you RV transport or. If you guys are living in a van or an RV. Yeah, um, if we were still transporting, I would just take it on the road with us. Yeah, it, it plugs right into a 12-volt uh, plug, so like the DC outlet on your truck. Uh, and it comes with a regular DC um, AC plug as well. And uh, it's only like 45 watts, I think, so it's very low power consumption. You can pretty much run it all day, especially if you guys buy a Jackery uh, with that, which is a portable power station. Yeah, we're buying that tonight. The sale goes out. Yeah, they're having car. a huge sale tonight. I'm going to throw this up for you guys so you can see this video. So if you're interested, take a look. But I will link both things down below for Amazon so you guys can take a look at that stuff. But uh, So it's been like six hours since we last ate. I know you guys are going to see both meals. <laughs> But uh, it's dinner time now, so we are going to actually, since I'm hooked up to a trailer and Sam is like parked right in front of me, we're just going to walk over to Buffalo and I'm going to get, I ordered a wrap and she got wings, so we're going to go grab that and then uh, chow down. You okay? <laughs> Stop! What's wrong? My underwear was on the bed. <laughs> it was your thong or mine? All right, we're gonna go, and I'll see you guys once we get back. You didn't tell them. What didn't I tell them? That so many people flipped. On oh, them. good thing. See, I made the right call today. Even though we hate sitting here, we made a good call. Tons and tons of people. We're getting tons of reports about people flipping over on uh, 31 North and South, I-80 uh, West, I-80 East. I mean, it's it's really bad out there, guys. I'm telling you, it's not worth flipping over. It's not worth possibly killing yourself, killing somebody else. Um, and, and, and wrecking your unit, wrecking your truck. So Cause now you're out of money. Yeah, you're out of money. You and you're a job. Yeah, and you're probably out of the job, too. And you lose your deposit. Yeah, you lose everything. So, you know, just... Or your bond, I should say. I know it sucks sitting here at a red roof or wherever you are, but uh, it, I'm telling you, it's worth it. We woke up at like 8, 9 o'clock in the morning, and Sean's like, we can't go anywhere, it's too windy. Yeah. I'm like, I'm not sitting in this unit. Till tomorrow, so we just got, we just came here. Yeah, I was gonna start the generator on her unit and pop the slides out and everything and just say, no, I'm just kidding. But, uh, you don't do that. Yeah, don't, don't do that. <laughs> <laughs> so we just, yeah, we just got the hotel and we're just hanging out, guys. So, yeah, all right, we're gonna go walk over to uh, Buffalo and grab our food. I hope we make it there. It's really windy out and cold. Oh. You can't come, Cody. I'm sorry. It's too cold. You're not allowed in there. There you go. It's hiding. All right, I'll see you guys when I get back. All right, guys, so it's kind of just a floozy vlog a little bit here today. We are sitting here. I wish I could see this in person. When we go down to Florida, we'll be able to see these rocket launches in person a lot. Uh, but they're about to do the rocket launch. So we're 30 and a half minutes away from the rocket launch. I think it was originally supposed to go off at 5, and I guess delayed. But uh, So we're just hanging out here watching that, and... Uh, yeah, not doing much. It started snowing before when we, we went to Buffalo Wild Wings to pick up our food. It was, it's brutal out here. I uh, know. Yeah. Cody's very excited. Are you excited for lunch? You want to see the rocket go off? All right. So not much going on today, guys. And, uh, yeah. So I'm just going to end this one here. Throw us up for you guys. Hope you guys are all doing well. And uh, hopefully I, tomorrow I have a better vlog, a little bit more of a funner vlog for you guys. Um, but yeah, hope you're all having a good night and uh, stay safe. And I'll see you guys in the next one.